Hi, Stitchy Friends. Hi, Stitchy Friends. We are Jen and Sarah, and we are Stitchy Friends. And this is Floss Tube number 34, and today is May 10th. Yes, we're back. We might be back sooner, but here we are. Yes. Yeah. I've been sick a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that seems to be the theme for the last several Last several Floss months. Tubes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, I have gotten sick a lot this year, and I just yeah. had pink eyes, so hopefully, hopefully I'm looking okay. I went yeah. to school today without eye makeup on. You would have thought, you would have thought <laughs> I looked like death warmed over. The kids were shocked. Like, what's wrong with you? I bet. Fourth graders have no filters, so I felt very ugly all day. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're back. Me too. Back on your feet, though. I just gotta, I just gotta survive another what? Two weeks, and then yeah, I'm good. How long is it? Two weeks. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. We're almost there. Almost there. Yeah, how about um, you? Nothing exciting with me, just being sick. Yeah, well, um, you know, there's a lot going on. Um, um, I think I've mentioned my daughter's graduating from high school, and that is getting close, and it's really going to happen. And so, <laughs> actually, her last day of school is tomorrow. So they finish like two weeks early. That's awesome. And um, yeah, she's, I bet she's ready. She she is she's ready. She's been ready for a while. Um, and um, so she has a presentation that she has to do tomorrow, and she mm -hmm. has to dress up, and she's not very happy that she has to do that on her last day. But oh, man, um, but she'll be done early. And um, and then we just have a lot of things happening with graduation, and um, my mom is coming in. Right. My dad's not going to make it. Um, and she's coming in. She's actually coming in for two weeks, which will be really nice. The kids will really enjoy that. Yeah. Um, so, so yeah, just just busy with yeah. busy stuff. But I did get a lot of stitching done. I don't know how that happened. I just, That's I think awesome. I just needed to relax a little. Yeah. And so I really focused on stitching. That's so awesome. That was nice. Yeah, yeah, I hope to keep it up a little bit. Right. My son just finished his um his last oh, thing today. So okay. He had an exam today, so he's done with this year of college. So. Oh wow. Okay. And Maggie, she finished up. That's my younger daughter. Yes. She finished up on, and she's the one in New Monday. York. Monday, yeah. And she's leaving for <gasps> Japan on Friday. Is she leaving on Friday? Oh wow. Oh, so, so today, so this Friday. Yeah. Wow. So today's Wednesday, yeah, and she's in leaving two days, in two yeah. days. So. Yeah. So you're not going to see her. She's not going to be back here until uh, it's July? about a three week trip. So she'll be back in June. But okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I I actually was talking to my sister in law today. We're really good friends, and my my nieces have a lot going on. One niece is graduating from college. So actually, my mom is flying to her graduation. Oh wow. And then from there, she's flying to our house. So she's she's Too got busy. quite yeah she's yeah. got quite the journey. And, um, but my other niece, um, she is a year younger, so she's going to be starting her senior year of college next year, but she is in Italy right now oh, and nice. she is being, um, an au pair for 90 days with a, a family. That's and, awesome. um, so she just got there and she got sick. And of so, right. So she's only been there a couple of days, but the good thing is the mom is a doctor. Oh, that's great. So, right. So <laughs> hopefully she'll, right? if you're gonna... she'll be able to help her out a little right. bit and, oh, Lord. and all of that. So, but yeah, a lot of people are going international that yeah. a lot of people around us are going to be international yeah. here this summer. So <laughs> yeah. All right. So, yep. Lots of stuff going on. Oh, so. What's coming up? StitchCon is coming up. StitchCon. I know. Um, I Very soon. I know. I had a countdown, but I, I don't remember what the countdown is. But it's less than a month now, isn't is it? it? It's like two weeks. No, it's more than two weeks. No. No, because this book doesn't graduate yet. No. Her, her, yeah. No, it's more than two weeks. It's, it's like three weeks. Okay, three weeks. But we are going to A, mm -hmm. StitchCon A, and um, so we'd love to hear if you guys are going to StitchCon and... And which, which weekend, one. yeah. And um, if you are at A, please come and say hello to us and introduce yourself. If we haven't met you, we would love to meet you. And um, it and we go really around fun. the room and, and say we hi do. to people too. So we do. We're yeah. we're pretty social when we go to StitchCon. <laughs> we're more social than stitching, but it's okay. But it's fun it's to fun. be there and see everybody. Of course. Yeah. 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 So. Um, before we get into like any like 
whips and stuff, there were a few questions that, yeah. that some of our viewers had. And I kind of went back a couple videos because sometimes I miss things or I don't answer it. A um, couple questions and comments. Okay. Um, so on our last video, I was reprimanded by Kim. Not reprimanded, but she said, don't rush through your whips. Uh, yeah. That, so, I, that's a, sorry. That is a good one because sometimes I'm a super talker and... <laughs> and then you're like, okay, we got to go. So, All right, come on. Yeah, but so, we, we do. I'll take more time. Yes, good. Yeah, okay. so I'm sorry. Um, Janice asked us, oh. do we use all the project bags we buy? Do we really want to answer that question? I do. You know, I do too. I, I probably have about five that don't have anything in them, but it's just because I need to like kit, mm -hmm. get, get fabric or something and kit up the pattern before yeah. I put it in there, but it's pretty sad. <laughs> At least we're using them though. Right. They're not, we're not buying them and they're sitting around. Right. It reminds me, tangent a little bit. It reminds me of when we first like started hanging out, we were like really into these like book sleeves. Oh my God. <laughs> which is kind of like a project bag for your book. And we bought so many. And we did not so put books in them. We don't use them. <laughs> no. We have quite the collection. Though. We do. We really have a ton. We so, transferred that. At least we use the project, project bags more bags. than we did the, the book sleeves. So. Well, originally the idea with the book sleeves is that we could use them for our stitchy stuff too. Yeah, we were putting stitchy stuff in those. But, you know, the project bags kind of came along shortly after that. And your mom started making them. Yes. And so, so. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes, Janice, we do use the project bags that we <laughs> buy. Because, uh, you know... I buy more bags and I'm like, well, I need more projects. So I kit more stuff up. So it's been great. Um, then a viewer named Tracy had a few questions for us. Okay. Um, she wanted to know she wanted to know how we met our oh. origin story. I know we've shared it before, but for anyone who it's been um, a while. Yeah, it's been a while. So anyone who is kind of newer to our channel, we can do a quick uh, retelling of that. Do you want to tell how we met? Uh, sure. So Sarah, um, started a book club in our neighborhood and she just kind of we have a like a homeowners association and she sent she sent out an email to everyone um that she was interested in a book club and got a really good response mm -hmm. and so um and i i was interested and i had been in a book club previously and wasn't in one and was looking to get back and so we we met in book club for probably two and a half years. I mean, we knew each other and right. we would talk, but we had no idea that we had a similar interest. Yeah, of, we were just book club. It. We were book club. Yeah, we didn't really do things outside of book club. I think we did trivia a couple of nights, but not yeah. like we yeah. individually did stuff together. And so until yeah, Sarah made a post on Instagram, and it was was it the frosted pumpkin? I don't know. It was something I was stitching. And I posted it, and, and she I was, was like, like, "You stitch!" Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Do you stitch? And then I think we talked for two hours, and I, we had no idea. And then we found out we had so much in common, like creepy, so much in common. <laughs> and it still happens. Like she'll buy something, and I'll see it, and yeah, have bought it, and we didn't talk to each other. So it's, or we'll start the same project, and we hadn't talked to each other. Yeah. So. Um, but that's cool. We would have never known um, that we had so much yeah. in common if we, if it wasn't for stitching. I know. Stitching brings people together. It does. It does. <laughs> so, so uh, that's yeah, so that's how we met. And then we just, um, well, I, I had actually, I hadn't been stitching for a while. I was busy with kids. And yeah. um, so I had taken a very long hiatus with stitching. And prior to that, I'd actually gotten into needlepoint. I originally started with cross stitch and then I went into needlepoint. And then I just was busy with kids. And so you were doing, I remember this, you might've posted something else, but you were doing a Frosted Pumpkin Sal, the Christmas wreath. No, that was after. We, was that after? Yeah. There was a Sal you were doing. Cause I asked you, I said- I, I, I think it was one of those stitching book club ones. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Because I didn't know what a Sal was. I didn't know any of the lingo. And um, I was just learning it myself. So. And, and I was an Ada stitcher and- so um. Oh, no, you were on linen by the time I met you, weren't you? I didn't start linen until our first StitchCon. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. You don't really know me, do you? I guess I don't. <laughs> <laughs> we think we know each other. Um, but yeah, then we just, I don't know, we'd get together and do stitchy stuff. And then I, then um, then we met more people through our local LMS keepsakes. Mm -hmm. And so then I started having some like stitchy weekends and had 
people over and um and we've just met friends at retreats and on instagram mm -hmm. i mean our our stitchy community has, just keeps expanding and it's yeah. awesome it is awesome but it is nice to have a friend who's she literally lives down the street so i know like you I would will... think we'd get together a little more often than we do maybe yeah. this summer so. i hope last summer we our schedules were completely opposite with yeah. travel and we didn't do anything but we'll have we, to figure it out this year yeah we actually live so close that um I will, you know, if I forget something, I can call and my son will ride his bike over and right. bring something or... It's very handy. Um, so, yeah, it, we're, we can walk to each other's house, which is really, really nice. Yeah. She had another question for us. Um, she wanted to know how, Tracy, she wanted to know how we keep track of our projects that are in fabric bags. And oh, another okay. viewer had also asked about the little um, printer thing that you use. So do you want to show? Oh, I did not. I don't have that with me, but I can. So... You know, that is something that I've been trying to figure out too. Um, and so what I adopted, and I think I saw this from somebody else, so I don't claim to have been the creator of it, but these are just like name badges um, that you can buy on Amazon um, that, you know, if you go to a retreat, you get a lanyard. And yeah. So it's just a basic name cheap. badge. And I started taking a, I don't know if you can see that. That's a picture of what I have in this project bag. Um, which is the love boat. And so I started taking a picture. I actually bought this camera. It is um, high print. I think it's by Kodak and it's high print. And it prints out these little stickers. I can bring it next time and explain oh, more. Um, if you, I, I could post a link to oh, it like okay. on Amazon. Okay, you yeah. You can do that. Um, and you- I Better write that down. It's like a little Polaroid, um, but it's much better resolution, but much better quality and the photo paper is actually a sticker so That's I originally awesome. yeah I originally bought it to in my book of days I was putting a sticker of the project that I was starting oh. um, so then I could kind of see my book of days and it sure. had, That's awesome. had stickers and um, and so then it kind of evolved into putting it on my project bag and then um, and this isn't fancy because I was doing so many oh. at once but I just wrote the name of it on the back oh how unfancy I know but <laughs> um, actually one thing and um, I was talking about Lori with La Di Da mm -hmm. we were talking and one thing she does is on her floss drop that she has all of her threads on she will print she will scale down the key oh. to the pattern that's smart yes and then she will print it on a little piece of paper and put a hole punch and put it on her floss ring I forgot to tell that little that tip. is awesome yeah and so um that is really cool it is a great idea and then you have it all right there mm -hmm. and she would also put down um if, if she changed her fabric count or whatever the fabric count was um I've noticed that I I stitch a lot on 36 count, mm -hmm. but I like to stitch on 40 count, and I have some things on 40 count, and sometimes I have to stop and think, because I use two strands, I always use two strands on 36 mm -hmm. count, and I always use one strand on 40 count, so I have to stop and think, wait a minute, what am I stitching this on? Yeah, um, I do the same. I'll start like stitching with two threads on a 40, I'm like, whoa! Yeah, yeah, so, so that's another thing you can put on the tab. That's a good idea. So, um, that's how I did it. Also, your mom did some really cute things with project bags. I don't know if I have. Yeah, she any just of like those would attach. Me. Like know. on a Valentine's Day bag, she had a heart. Um, like was it like like cardstock or something? Yeah. Right, and you could write what it was on there, and yeah. just kind of attaching it to the zip. That's same the idea. Yeah, yeah, attaching it to the zipper. Um, I do have the portfolios like this. This is a tiger lily portfolio. I've, I've shown it before. And this is more of a challenge of what, how to put something right, on Right, because you can't hang something on you it. You can't really hang something. Um, and there's no, like if there were maybe the little ring that people put in there and yeah. you can hang your thread drops. She doesn't have those in this, so. So you're just gonna have to open it and look. Yeah, kind Man, of. Man, first kind of. world problems, right? So how do you, what do you do for yours? Well, I, when I'm being organized, I'll write it on that little piece of paper that's hanging. Yeah. Or I'll hang a piece of paper on there. Um, but I've been lazy, so I had to open them and look. <laughs> well, and I've been, now that I kind of have a collection of them, mm -hmm. I've been sort of changing projects out for different themes, and that oh. has totally messed me up. Now I just, 
I yeah, because a lot remember. of them that I work on a lot, I know what bag they're in. Right. Just but then if you finish one, yeah, and then you put, you put a, a new project project in, in. Oh, and Lord. then yeah, you can't remember what's what's what. So I like having the tag. I worry about the zipper and the quality and oh, and I just buy these little. I don't know what these oh, are. Oh, the, those are called um. What are those called? I don't know if you have one handy. Uh, I don't. Um, I have some back there, but I'm wearing shorts. So. They're like a little. <laughs> I'm not kidding up. <laughs> You're not getting up to shore, shore. No. All the reason not to get up. Yeah. Um, what are these called? It's uh, like a. It's, it's like, like a, a safety pin, but it's yeah. got like the round, like a bulb. Yeah. So I will see. People will use these to attach charms mm -hmm. on their. Um, you can get like 500 of them on Amazon yeah. for really cheap. I don't know if you can even yeah. see that. Yeah. And then this just. It just goes back in yeah so I just connect it through the keyhole or the the zipper hole zipper hole and attach it that way and I there you know I'm I try not to be real rough or shove I don't like to shove them all in there like really tightly so mm -hmm. I haven't really had problems with them falling off um, but it is nice because then I can just flip through very easily and quickly right. and know what's what especially you know, if you have 20 whips. Or 80. Yeah, like you. <laughs> um, That's a good thing, though, I think. We had another question from a viewer, and I did respond to her, but I just kind of wanted to put it out there. Um, the Madam Butterfly that I was stitching from Barbara Anna, um, I know it's available through Nitka, oh. but you can't order through Nitka because it's a Russian company. Yeah. Um, but you can get the pattern. It is a new pattern. Um, you can get it if you um, contact Barbara Anna, if you um, message her directly on Instagram, oh. and she'll send you a link. Oh, um, to purchase it? it? Yeah. So she sent me oh, a link nice. to purchase it directly from her. So if you want There's that pattern. There's a workaround. Yeah. That's so I nice. don't I don't have it available to show you, but it's the one with the, the, the lady with the beautiful butterfly. Mm -hmm. It's gorgeous. So, yeah. Um, and that's pretty much it for the questions. Okay. Yeah. Good. Do I like questions? So do I. Yeah. And if you asked a question and I missed it, ask again, please. Because <laughs> I miss things sometimes. Sometimes Sarah forwards me a question and I miss it too. So please, please ask again. Yeah. So if we if we didn't answer your question, we're not. It's not personal. We're no. just not as organized. So Sarah's far more organized about answering questions than I am. She's kind of our media. Well, you're person. organized with your bags. I'm organized with. I'm organized well, yeah. with the social media and yeah. the answering, so we'll see. Yeah, works out. Yeah. All right, let's do finishes. Do okay. You finish? Why don't you show yours first? Well, I don't have an FFO. I was, someday I'm going to come on here and I'm just going to knock your socks off with I'm, 15 different FFOs. I'm waiting. Yeah, well, I'm going to get my act together sooner or later, <laughs> sometime. Um, I do have an FF, or I do have a finish. This is my little stamp. So Sarah and I are both in the Pine Needle Mountain, or no, Pine Needles Club. It's called Life is Just a Bowl of Cross Stitch. Thank you. And so every month a new pattern comes, and it's always the same kind of pattern. There's two patterns. There's a stamp, and I'm actually stitching it on the called for, well, it's a kit that comes. So it yeah. comes with this Ada, which I think is 16 count maybe. Um, so I actually am stitching it on this. Sarah's doing her own thing. Um, and then there's a roll that, that comes as well. So I do have, I have a couple of these stamps done and I think I have a roll or two done and I, I do need to finish them, I haven't. Yeah. But I was proud of myself that I got the May done. I'm, you, I I'm think finally you had, not behind. I think you had that done before mine was, so I actually I'm proud of you. did, I did, but Sarah FFO'd her, which is so cute. Oh, well. well. That was the good thing about being sick and having pink eye. I had time to do stuff. <laughs> yeah, really? So I wouldn't complain about while that. While I was sitting at home with pink eye, I did this. Oh, it's so cute. So you can tell this is 16 count. Well, I think I used 32, so it's probably about the same oh, size, okay. maybe. Oh, yeah. It's actually yeah. not too bad. Well, you've done 40 for the last couple of months. Well, no, I did it for the... February one, and that was just too small. Oh, so. okay. So you're moving it up. That's so adorable. ours looks like the same size. Yeah, it actually it does. It's, well, it would be the same size mm -hmm. if you did 32 and I did it 16. Did. Yeah, right. It is. So there's mine. There's my finish. Super cute. I put this little like ribbon trim that I got um, 
So like Joann's or Hobby Lobby? So it does come with a whole finish. It comes with all the fabric, yeah. all the every trim, everything. But you always tend to do your own I just own like thing. to do my own thing. Yeah. And I use some fabric for my stash on the back. That's really pretty fabric. Thanks. It, and then here's the... There's the roll. The roll, which is not a roll. It's For me, it's a long well, pillow. <laughs> but, you know, it's always been vertical. And yeah. this time it's horizontal. I so know, that's throwing kind us of, off. Yeah. Oh, it's cute. And I put a little pink rick rack around the edges, oh, and I use the same backing fabric. That fabric matches perfectly. I know. I found it in my stash because I organized my fabric stash. Yeah. Because I couldn't see anything. Behind us in those little, the, the middle cubby there. Um, so I oh, share found the whole bowl with the rose. Oh, so, oh, you did. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'll show so, you again. there are little props that come too. Like in March, we got a four leaf, a thir three leaf clover. Yeah, it was crocheted. And yeah, and now this is a felt heart. Um, flower. It's flower. <laughs> flower. Um, but it's it's not an expensive kit. No. And what is it like twenty five dollars a month? I don't or something? even think it's twenty five dollars. And it, the first time you get the bowl, and so yeah. After that, they just send the pattern and the stuff. And she emails um, the gal that that sends out the stuff. She's been emailing every month and asking if it's all DMC, and she's been asking if you'd like her to include the DMC for you. And I've actually done that the last two months. Yeah, she just, sent out the the DMC ahead of time. So mm -hmm. yeah, so that's just. You get the whole thing and you can sit down and stitch. Yeah. And I was thinking too, because I'm not using my supplies in my kit, I was thinking maybe of like giving my kits away, like with the pattern, because oh. I'm done stitching it. Oh, because, yes, yeah. because Cause you I have, would have all that. this. Mm -hmm. And then there's backing fabric. Oh, that. Yeah, would the only be thing nice. I wouldn't be giving away would be like the little extras. Right. Sorry. But I keep them that. Right, but so. still, that would be awesome. Yeah, I and think I'll do that. They're quick stitches. Mm -hmm. They're not hard, and all of them have been cute. I haven't yeah. had one that I thought wasn't cute. They're, no, it's really been a fun um, and something that I can keep up with. Sometimes, yeah, I have all very these quick stitches, different things, and I I just can't keep up. So, well, I have a couple more FFOs. Yeah. Now, this is Tudor B by the Blue Flower. I finished stitching this a year or more ago. It's been a while ago. I know, and I, I don't know why, but I was intimidated to finish it because I'm using the fancy Lady.Creates um, velvet backing and the chenille. And that's and the first I was time just, for using both? Yeah, and I was just worried I would mess it up, which I did the first time. Um, <laughs> How did you mess it up? A really stupid mistake. When I sewed my pillow together, I put the velvet on the inside. Oh, oh, you know what? Yeah, you didn't cut a backing, so you sewed, you sewed all the way around and then put your trim no, around. I, no, I. I mean, didn't cut a hole in right. the back. Yeah, no, I left a hole in the bottom here. So, so you put it inside out. Did you have to un? Did you have to stitch rip it open? I had to rip it open, and then the velveteen had all the little holes and stuff. I had to cut oh. myself another piece. So well, good thing it was a tiny pillow. Yeah, right. And so I sewed on my own chenille trim for the first time. I think I did okay. You did awesome. So. Did you do the same technique as you do for the Rick Rack trim? Um, it's a different technique. I watched actually. It was a um, Lindy Stitches tutorial. Oh, okay. That she made um I like during Stephanie. quarantine. So I watched that and learned how to sew on the Rick or the chenille. It's so cute. What count is that pillow? Let me see that. It's pillow. forty count. I want to say fiber on a whim latte. Oh, that was actually my first forty count piece. Yeah, I think I remember that. Mm -hmm. So, is this the called for rick rack and trim for the yes. pattern? Uh huh. Because it looks like it matches perfectly. Yeah, and it tells you in the pattern um what is called. Yeah, for. what? The, yeah. Oh, it's so cute. I know. She's really becoming. I'm a pillow master. Y you are. They're <laughs> firm and they're not slouchy and they well, look great. You. They're very pretty. Thank you. They're very pretty. I have one more FFO. I think I showed this as a finish last time, but not an not FFO. FFO. Oh. It's my Fox and Almonds. So this yeah. was a market release from Ingleside Imaginarium. And um, it was a collaboration with Ymir Almond M Ms using her silks. That's right. Yeah. And you bought that when we were at the Still City Stitchers retreat, mm -hmm. and so did our friend Sally. Yeah. And I think I think Sally finished uh, stitching her fox, oh, or she's really she? close to oh, being okay. done. I think she's done. So yeah, I had this. I've had this board here from Hobby Lobby for forever, 
yeah. and um, just had it in my stash and it just turned out to be a really good size and it was already painted white like this and um, I really just wanted everything in the background to be kind of light because I wanted mm -hmm. the blue and the orange and the fox to the pop. fox's eyes. But then after I put it on, it seemed like really bland, so I put some buttons. Well, I like it. To, it's cute. Yeah. So I put it on there, I was like, oh, that's a little boring. So I thought maybe the buttons would be a cute accent without like overpowering it. So it really is fox cute. and almonds. When you purchased it, I thought it was cute, but I was like, okay. But yeah. seeing it done, yeah. I, I love I love the blue that you did it on. It's so pretty. And for some reason, looking at the pattern, I thought this was going to be way bigger. So when um, our friend Sally and I were looking at it at Steel City Stitchers, we looked at the count and we're like, oh, that's not big at all. So that convinced us because I thought it was going to just be like a giant piece, and it's not. Yeah. So you just got to look and at the you, stitch count. And you really started, you started that actually at at Steel City Stitchers, didn't you? No. No? no but you got I, had it. To, I came home and this fabric was in my stash. You got it done quickly. I did. I had fun with that one. So those are my finishes. You know, I walked in at, we're upstairs in Sarah's craft room, and when I walked in her house, um, her dining room is to the left, and she has a big buffet and a, and a table. We've actually filmed there before, mm -hmm. and she had it all set up for um, Easter's done, and so she had it all set up, and she has a bee theme. And it was so cute. She has a couple different bee finishes. You should take a picture and put it on our Instagram. Yeah, I need to put several pictures on our Instagram because someone had asked about the la di da box that you were talking about. That was oh okay. I actually you saw. brought that. Did you not put that? I think I emailed those. Well, two. you showed the yeah, you did. You showed the box box, but you didn't show the actual like picture of the finished one at the retreat so you sent me that picture did I not send that okay I no you sent that. it to me oh I just did not post it oh yet, okay so okay I'll post that sorry about yeah. that I have the box too so we can follow up a little bit with that mm -hmm. um so yeah but yeah it just looks so pretty with so my whole point is I'm sorry. we've really really been into stitching now for over a year right oh, I've been say doing, like well I years. mean like doing floss tube like it's been a year that we started doing floss tube and it's been so, over a year but not like three years just okay well what I mean is <laughs> you know little by little every month now you have stuff to finish because yeah. you'll start a project and maybe not finish it because it's fall and then fall comes around and then you're so you have a lot of finishes um and yeah. it's just it was nice to walk in and it just just really that buffet really stands out and oh, it just you. looks really cute so. it is nice to just add to the collection every year like oh yeah I have more to add yeah before it was pretty sparse so and bees are so there's so many right? things right now primrose has all those bee patterns and you lots can't go of, wrong with the bees lots of bee stuff happening yeah mm -hmm. and, they, and at michael's they have a lot of bee like decorations so. oh do they i mm -hmm. haven't been to michael's in a while i ordered online <laughs> oh yeah well that's that never stops me, right? <laughs> no. I sent my son. I was like, hey, I have a pickup order. Will you go? I was like, I can't go. I have pink eye. Oh, right. Yeah. You're <laughs> quarantined at home. Right. So let's talk about our whips. Yeah. Let's okay. Do it. Okay. I'll let you go first. I think you have more whips than I do this time. Oh, that's unbelievable. So I can't believe it. I Well, I have new starts, actually. Yes. I actually them. have all new starts. No, like, whips. Um, and... As I said, I just have really been enjoying stitching. I had kind of a lull with being gone in April mm -hmm. quite a bit, and I just was missing it. And yeah. um, just so many things happening. It's just this really comforting to stitch. And yeah. um, so um, my husband and I actually, because we are always in different directions. You know, my uh -huh. son has hockey at night, and my husband usually takes him. And so hockey's over uh, right now and so we've kind of had a little bit of a lull so we've actually been watching um, a series together so that's why I've been stitching more we've been watching the um, well it's Yellowstone but it's the prequels oh, so okay. like 1823 or 1895 and then there's a 1923 or something so um, so it's been nice to actually sit with him even though we're watching TV we just yeah we need to try that we watched the first episode of Yellowstone, and we're like, eh. But I've heard it's so good. I, I we know. We just need to try it again. I know. Well, we needed, I mean, he doesn't want to sit and watch 
floss tube. And he doesn't? No, he doesn't. Isn't that, isn't that something? Crazy. Can you believe it? Rude. Um, and my son, they watch the Marvel movies all the time and um, different you know, Indiana Jones. And, and I like those kind of movies, but not like, okay, here's the 37th time we've watched sure. Tron or whatever this month. So, um, so then I listen to a book on tape or something. Right. Um, so it's actually, it's just been nice to find something that we both are interested in watching. That's awesome. Yeah. My husband's nice. He lets me watch whatever I want. Really? And it's always murder shows. I know. I need to watch something else. There's, I have a problem. Murder shows, murder podcasts. If you need any podcast recommendations, I know you've I got gotcha. some good ones. Yeah. yeah. I just listened to one, sorry, random. I just listened to one called Why Can't We Talk About Amy's Mom? It was really good. Oh, is Amy's mom a certain... Well, you'd have to listen to the podcast. A murder situation? Yes. Yeah, so it's like, it's, um, it's kind of like serial where it follows the investigation oh, okay. of one case. I not, like that. Yeah. Instead of a new case every, every episode. Yeah. So. I actually, I like that. I'll have to yeah. get that. Yeah. Why can't we talk about Amy's mom? Why can't we talk about Amy's mom? Okay. <coughs> and if you Excuse listen to me. it, you'll find out why you can't talk about Amy's mom. Okay. <laughs> To be Let's, continued, right? <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's look at your whips. Okay. So sorry, I got a bunch of whips. So um, the first whip is the Love Boat, and that's a great bag to have it in. I I know, isn't it? And I had a Valentine's Day thing in this bag too, so that's why I was having a hard time remembering uh, where it was. So uh, here is the pattern. Oops, I'm not very prepared with my my pattern. Shame. And here it is. It's by Arth Design. It's so or the love cute. the love wait the love boats sampler. I'm sorry, that's the full name. It's so pretty. I love the pink. I just, it's so fun. I started that one as one of my twelve. You bought twelve that. by twelve. Oh, uh huh. And I haven't picked it up since. I need to pull that back out because it's so cute. It is really cute. Well, are you using the DMC? You know what? I am using the DMC. It there's a whole. Uh, it calls for color and cotton that you can use. I have, I'm in the color and cotton thread club, uh -huh. one of the thread clubs. So I had maybe four or five of them. Mm -hmm. And then whatever I didn't have, I just used, I used the DMC. Um, so yeah. And I they have, have a floss four, pack, but it's been out of, out of stock forever. Right. But I, these are just, I love all the colors. Look at the colors. Yeah. They're, they're so pretty. And the DMC just fit right in with it. You Absolutely. know, mixing them. So I don't have a ton done. Um, this actually is a fabric. We are in, I don't know if you're still in it, the Be Not Stitch anymore. Me Club. Was it Be Stitch Me? I think that was a uh, um, Fiberlicious. I believe it was a Fiberlicious. I think it is a Fiberlicious. Yeah. We were in that. I'm not in Fiberlicious anymore. I'm still in Be yeah. Stitch Me, but, and I don't remember the name of it. I could find out. And mine was so much pinker than yours. Yours has a lot of green. Right. And so I purposely, I was a little worried about how much green that was. So I purposely kind of looked at where I was going to start and I did it I did a top left start Sarah look at you I know so you so you started with the green or you made sure the green was at the bottom because yes. it's going to be covered by the water that's what I kind of thought okay. because there is there is some green in this yeah I don't think the green that does show is going to be well, distracting right and I don't think it it's kind of hard to show it here but I don't think it um conflicts with no. the green color no i think it'll so, actually be pretty cool and you know cool i'm effect. not i'm not great about a ton of modeling and so this is this is she's getting wild and so crazy I, am. I love it um i am so i'm actually kind of following the lead of our friend sally and um, we copy sally all we, the time we do she has great ideas and she's She's very creative. So she used her fabric, but her fabric does look very different. Yeah. It's more of a blue in it and not as And noticeable. mine's just like pure pink. Is it? It's crazy. Yeah. And this is a 32 count. I think you were getting I think mine's a different count. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, different counts do die differently. Yes. Okay, you want me to keep going? Yeah, go okay, for it. Okay, so the next one I have, I have in, oh, a new bag. This is a Buckleberry Quilts. I, I really like her stuff. And I love this bag. Look how cute it's it is. It's adorable. I think you showed that one last time. Did I? Oh, did I? I'm sorry. Hey, you could show it again. It's Maybe adorable. I did. Okay, I so. I love the gardening theme. I do, too. And it's just perfect for right now, mm -hmm. you know? Um, just fun, pretty colors. So, I am doing the, I can't really show very much of this, but I am doing, it's called The Simple Life. 
and it is in the Teresa Kogut Patreon. Mm. It is her second mystery sale in the Patreon. So she only has two um, patterns released. She's releasing them, I think, once a month. Yeah. And um, so I really liked this. I just have the border done. Oh, that's a pretty start. Yeah, well, part of the border. Yeah. But um, yeah, I thought it was a good start. So I do want to try to catch up. I'd like to keep up with this. Her last or her first uh, Patreon mystery sale was the Strawberry House. Oh, yeah. And I think it's so cute. And I and that one came out at market, so anybody can did. get that one. Right. And mm -hmm. this will come out, too. Um, it's called The Simple Life. It's so cute. I like the dog with the cat on its back. Yeah. And you got the little bee skeps down here. So I, cute. I know. I like the, the people and the yeah, animals. Yeah, the guy's got his pitchfork. <laughs> Like a little farming one. So yeah. I got the bag. Oh, that's cool. The bag worked. Yeah. So I got that started. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm noticing too is that, um, you know, I would see people and they would just start a whole bunch of things and you'd see it and then I'd never see the pattern again. And I'm mm -hmm. kind of like, wow, you just start stuff and keep starting and keep starting. But I actually kind of like that in the sense of having quite a large array of projects that are already started mm -hmm. because then I, I just pick up whatever project bag I want and start stitching versus the whole, Oh, now I have to find the center and now I, or, mm -hmm. you know, wherever I'm starting right. and I have to figure out where I'm at and maybe I'm stitching with someone and I can't talk and look at the same time. So I actually want to get more, more starts. You know, it's okay if I don't keep going on them, but no, I want it's to not a job. We can do, we can go at whatever pace yeah. we want. Okay, so I'm so excited about this. Um, this is my coronation bag. I showed this before, and this is by PT Bags. And actually, I looked it up. Um, it's actually Penny and Tunny. Oh, is this Penny and Tunny? Yes. I'm so sorry. I know I the tag say says PT right. Bags, but I was trying to find it on um, oh, I'm sorry. Etsy, and I was able to find it as Penny and Tunny. And they have this in like a light blue version. I think some of the characters are a little different now she did have it on her website yeah they're they're sold out but oh, it are. does have a it does have a link where if you click on the bag itself um it says um you can request like custom requests oh, so she okay. might be able to make more if you request a custom bag i i can't promise anything but that option is there i just thought they were so cute and i'm i'm apologizing this doesn't have a very good picture but i did purchase a pattern from i wanted to stitch something I did. Um, I didn't get up at five a.m. and watch no the coronation. I I recorded it, but I just was interested. I remember uh, when I was a kid. I I think I was maybe in grade school or junior high when Princess Diana got married, oh. and my mom. They were up at four a.m. or whatever, and she had it on in her bedroom, and I came in, and um, so it just. Yeah, just wanted to watch it. Just and an important just piece of history. Yeah, and the jewels and just... Uh, so I wanted to kind of stitch something. And so I got this from Caterpillar Cross Stitch. I just... It's kind such of a hard cute, to see. Cute pattern. Yeah, um, it was a PDF, so I was able to just quickly download it, and I'm just using all. And it's not very big. It's uh, it's eighty. Well, it's eighty five by eighty six. I guess that's yeah. But I love these bright, vibrant, oh. celebratory colors. Let's so go with your bag. Hold them up against the bag. Oh yeah, yeah. It does all match, doesn't it? So look at, look that. at that. Oh. I love the purple and the red. Mm -hmm. I just wouldn't put those colors together, and I think they look so pretty. Of course. So I got the crown done. So good. Need like a little thing to hold. Yeah, just hold a white thing. Back. There oh, we go. go. There you go. Yeah. So I got the crown done, mm -hmm. and um, I just have to fill it in. And then yeah. there's you know some things around it, but I watched that while I was, or That's I stitched awesome. that while I was. And so you'll have that memory. Do you ever find that like if you stitch something during? you know, a certain time or when something's going on, every time you pick up that stitch, you remember, oh, I started this yeah. during, no, I don't do that for all projects, but some No, things... but it's kind of nice to have yeah. some things. And I don't know, I'm not a huge royal fan. I don't keep track of everything going on, but I just was, I just think from that childhood memory yeah. and I just was really interested in kind of having a pattern. Of course. And, um, and I loved this bag when I saw it. So just, it's been fun. It's been fun. Okay, I gotta move on here. So I started a Plum Street sampler. Imagine pattern. I know. I have so many. Crazy. I'm so excited. I'm like, I'm just gonna start stitching yeah. them, right? So this is Penny Spring. 
This is one of her newer releases. And, um, sorry, that's pretty glittery. Do you like a piece of a plastic bag in there or something? I do, yeah. I do. Oh, okay. oh, I have the other, yeah, I have two bags out. in there. Thank you, Sarah. Much better. I like the fox on the uh, branch there. I do too. And I really like the colors. I just have a tiny start. Sorry, I've been I've been putting a tag at the top. That's a good because idea. Because I was starting. So you know where you're starting. Yeah. A lot of times I will loop like a piece of um, floss through the top because when I'm now that I'm trying to start on these left borders, mm -hmm. it's sometimes hard to know. Yeah. So so I just have working. a little bit. But I like the colors, and yeah. it's just a fun, easy stitch. What fabric are you stitching I on? am stitching this on the, I should know all this, right? I'm usually yeah. really good at this. I am stitching it on 36 count Affogato by Fiber on a Wind. Oh. Is that my Fiber yes. on a Wind? Yeah. I believe so, yeah. Yeah, and that is the called for. I, it might be a 40, oh no, it is a 36 count it calls for. Yep. And um, so I'm excited that I'm actually I'm not shying. I would shy away from starting. Oops. I would shy away from starting big projects. Yeah. Because I'm like, oh, that's so big. And you know, I don't need to. I just, I just can start them, and maybe I won't pull it out for a while, but at least I'll have right. a start. It's your stitching. You can yeah. start whatever you want. Yeah. So, getting bolder. no guilt. I know. Yeah. Um. Okay. I think is that it. Did, Did you have a whip in here? Oh, actually, I have more whips. I'm sorry. Oh. Yeah, so this is my Project Keeper from Tiger Lily. And I am in the Project Keeper Club, which I have a new one to show you. So this was the first one. That's Love great. this fabric. And I started Eliza's French Birds by Judy Whitman. Oh, sorry, That's Sarah. I'm my like whips. poking you. Oh, nice. Um, I started this. So I started this. This is on... 40 count. It's on the called for, which is Ex Espresso by R&R. Do you want me to hold up the... Yeah, I think I just pattern. lost my needle. Or, oh, it's just that. Yeah. So here's the pattern. And I started this. I worked like a good three hours on it. Uh -huh. And I realized the pattern is tiny. And I realized that I was confusing a circle stitch with like a asterisk stitch. Yeah, I did the same thing. So I had to frog the whole thing. So you got to pay close attention. Yeah, so here we are. I started again. It's not a big start, but it's really looking pretty. And I, you know, Sarah, I really love working on 40 count. I, I, I love using one strand. Yeah. All the stitches lay so much mm -hmm. nicer when you're on 40 count versus using two Absolutely. strands. Yeah. I know some people use one strand for 36. Um, for me, I it depends on what the pattern is. Sometimes I'll use one, sometimes I'll use two. Yeah. And it depends on the fabric itself. Yeah. I'm sorry. I do have more. I didn't organize these very well. <laughs> okay, so now I have one in my new painted leaf bag. So I love this bag. It's so springy and pretty. Oh, yeah. And this is, um, my daughter doesn't watch these, so I can say it, but I want, she's graduating and I, I mean, she's not into cross stitch, but I wanted a little something sure. to do for her. I'm obviously. And it's special because you're making it. Yeah, I'm obviously running late on it, but I just, I loved this poem. Um, and I just, I love this poem and my daughter has grown so much in the last year. Um, and just becoming a strong woman. Right. And I'm just awesome. so proud of her. So this is an Amy Brocken pattern. I don't know. I think this is an older pattern. I don't know if you see uh, the date. Oh, 2022. No, oh, actually it's not. Oh, I didn't realize that. Um, I've never seen this pattern, so. Oh, you haven't? No. So, Sarah, can you read that on the back? Yeah, it says, you are stronger than you know and loved more than you can imagine. Are you going to put her name at the bottom? I am. Yeah, that's, so that's kind of hard to see, but I'm going to put her name at the bottom. So, so I started it. I did change. I did change the fabric. Can you believe it? I me? love it. So this is Silver Fox by Fiber on a Wind. I love that fabric. And this is 40 count. I know. Can you believe it? So, um, 
it, it is kind of hard to see. I don't know if you can see. I started the word more. Mm -hmm. They're very close together. It'll look pretty when it's all done. Yeah, I love that fabric choice. I, it, now, are you keeping the colors the same? I kept all the colors except, oh, let me get my little your little notions, notions pouch. pouch. Um, I changed one color, and that is the color of the letter. So it is kind of a oh. dominant color. But I changed it to juniper, and it was, what was it? Collards. Oh, okay. Weeks Dye Works. So I did change this to Juniper, but I liked the colors. I liked them on this fabric. Oh, that's going to look nice. And um, yeah, and I wanted to do it tiny. I didn't want a big giant thing sure. that's just collecting dust somewhere. Yeah. Um, I like the frame that they have it in on here. I do too. It's pretty. Yeah. It. I think it. This one's not very big. It's 47 by 99. And I mean, it's words. That's going to go pretty fast. Yeah. I don't so. think it'll be very big when it's no. all said and done. I probably will do. I won't do a pillow. I'll do, I don't know, maybe a flat fold or maybe frame it. I kind of like it on frame. Yeah. Because it's a special piece. Yeah. I just, yeah. So anyway, I wanted to do something and I didn't want something that was going to be gigantic that would take me 10 years to stitch. So I do need to get back to this and get on it. Um, and Sarah, believe it or not, I think that actually, I think that actually is all of my current whips. I do have a question. Should I not ask this now? You can ask it now. Okay. So I haven't started this yet, but I'm going to start it. This is a pattern um, a new pattern, a new release by Brenda Gervais, and it's Every Opening Flower. And I've been seeing some people stitch this. And I think, I'm gonna hold that for a second. Um, I do have the call, I think I have the called for. Um, winter Brew? Yes, okay. so this is 36, it might be on 40. This is 36 Count Winter Brew. No, by that's what's called for. R&R. &R. Mm -hmm. And so these, I'm sorry, I keep hitting you. These are the called for colors, which I think are very pretty. Yeah. I do, I like these colors. You can see there, there's some vibrancy I in like there. The blue. Um, but when I was reading this, it says to certain colors, there's like a little asterisk next to them. I don't know, five or six of them. Um, oh, I think it's on the main pattern. Okay. That you should soak them in coffee grains, coffee or tea. To make them look a little more primitive? Yeah, I think so. And so um, I haven't started it yet. Um, I was kind of thinking, hmm, I wonder if I want to do that. I think they have, I know I read it somewhere. I'll keep looking. Yeah. Um, so I do have this, it's called Instant Antique. And a lot of people use crushed walnuts mm -hmm. and you can actually buy them and then you like put them in a bowl and add water and it creates a liquid that is kind of like an antique thing. Um, I just bought the spray. I have not used it. <laughs> I have it too, I've never used it. <laughs> Keepsakes has, and you know, we can post this too. Um, and you can get it online. You can get it online, but Susan at Keepsakes, um, she does a lot of their finishing and she did kind of a board and she put two of the same colors and she sprayed one with this antiquing mm. spray oh, and then cool. one with that. And they actually look really nice. I really liked the way they look. So I was just curious if anyone's done that. I've never, um, I did do, I did once do uh, linen dyeing or Ada dyeing with tea and coffee yeah. stain or coffee stain. Um, but I've never done it with fiber. So uh, I was just I curious. I see that on here though. Why? Maybe this is not the right one. Uh -oh. Don't go soaking your you threads sure? unless you see it. I, I don't see I it. I thought I looked it up before we started. Was it maybe a different pattern? Because I know that a pattern I know, that we, I have is like that. I thought I was just, I thought we looked that up before we started. Uh, okay. Well, just scratch all of that because apparently this is not the right. I think it's, yeah. Because I, I know it's for one of our projects because I remember reading that on one of them. Shoot. I wonder if it's, I think it's the, is it, what is I Love You? It's I Love You by, by Plum Street. It's the pink house. It's that oh, one, I, I don't think. Know that one. Shoot. Okay. Well, okay. sorry about that. I, it's showing the wrong pattern. Um, now, now this we're all is the, right, this, this is the fiber and the floss for this pattern, which I, 
don't think I'm going to antique. No, I think, it, and I think it's all personal preference. I mean, yeah, whatever, you know, if you wanted to have that antique look, then. Oh, sorry about that. I don't have that done pattern. No, I remember reading that it's too. A, it's a church. Um, is it, is it that pattern? I don't have that pattern, so I don't know. Shoot, I, I had so many that I was kidding up and doing, and I thought I, that's what I was looking for before I came over here, so. Oh, maybe if we figure it out, we could put it in the show notes. Yeah. Or if you guys know, you could tell Sorry. us. But <laughs> anyway, you could just answer the question of have you, have you soaked fibers in a coffee or a tea stain? And have you used this? And which did you like better? Um, I'm just afraid to spray that on my stitching. Well, there have been people that have, I've watched, uh -huh. you know, YouTubers that have used it. And they, they, people have made different recommendations of how to do it and so it's not droplets aren't falling yeah and, okay well if you have um, recommendations let us know yeah because i'm just terrified to spray that on my stuff yeah i don't know that i would yeah i might maybe you have to like just do like a a trial run there was a gal that oh, i'm trying to i can't remember who it was but she was doing it was a Teresa coquette pattern and actually i think it's sherry um, Susan's friend and she was doing a bunny and she wanted to make the bunny be she was using like a white or an off-white and wanted to make that be a little more antique and she did the crystals but then she took a paintbrush and just painted it where she wanted it to be it looked fabulous wow um, that's actually how I heard about the antiquing and thought that's pretty cool oh I'll use the spray instead of the crystal she's very brave to do that yeah yeah so Anyway, sorry that I got that all wrong with the wrong project. That's okay. But we'll, we'll forgive you. Yes, but if you okay. have if you have ideas, let me know. And that is it, Sarah. That, okay. Those are all my my new whips. All right, I will show you my whips now. I think your stuff's gonna fall there. Oh, thank you. Yes, <laughs> thank you. So I've been working on on my Eliza's French birth. So we oh, showed this just oh a moment my gosh. ago. <gasps> wow, you've got a ton done. And here oh, I am. that is so pretty. I love are it. Are you using the called for colors? I yeah um. I changed one. So some of these, so it calls for a classic color works and weeks dye works and a couple of DMCs. Um, I didn't have the dried sage. So I was using oh, the, okay. I was using the um, called for the DMC, DMC, but my DMC and that color that it calls for, for DMC looked exactly like the same color as the um, classic color works Eve's leaves, which is oh, a different really? symbol. So I had to, I did a little color change on that just to make. And they were all greens? Yeah, they were greens, but that, those two greens were just like the same green. Yeah. And I think it's just different dye lots. I mean, yeah. you know, yeah. over dyed threads, you know, can turn out to be, look different. Sure. But, so there's mine again. I'll hold it up again. I'm oh, stitching it, looks it so on, pretty. Uh, I believe I'm stitching it on needle and flax Bria and oh, uh, I like it's that 40 color. count. So. I think it's so oh, that I'm looks almost great. done. You are. So I've been working on that. That looks great. Thanks. Next I have. Oh, yeah, I'm working on this. I showed this before. So I'm doing. Oh, did you start? <clears throat> oh, you I, I, start? I haven't started before. Oh, okay. So I'm in this um, A Heart Remembers book by Blackbird Designs. I'm stitching these two panels here. And I'm stitching them on the same fabric, and I did a total color conversion. Oh, that's right. Now I, I remember. Because I was inspired. Yes. I was inspired by a fellow stitchy Instagrammer, Laney Main, and so I was like, I'm going to choose my own fabric color and my own floss colors, and I've been having a ball. With oh, it. wow. Yeah. So. Oh, that's. Pretty. I'm just choosing colors as I go. I just have. So you're making it more vibrant. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh gosh, that's really yeah. pretty. I just pulled a bunch of colors that I thought were fun and. Just threw them on a ring. Oh, wow. Oh, those are fun. Yeah, I think they're all Leo and Roxy, or Roxy Floss now, in um, color and cotton. So just pulled a bunch of colors nice. I liked. And as I go along, I just pick one and stick it in there. Oh, so. Sarah, I like that. You yeah. know I'm going to be saying, what what conversion <laughs> did you use? What fabric is that? Oh, um, do you remember? It's Pearl. Here it is. It's very Mystic pretty. Fabrics Pearl 40 Count. Mm, I mm -hmm. love it. I know. It's very pretty. It's a little like oh, that looks green. great. Thanks. And your fibers look nice with the modeling on that one. Thank you. Yeah, I just decided to go crazy, and I'm having fun with it. 
All right. Good. My next whip I've been working on float like a butterfly. I want to get that finished soon. Oh, I haven't soon. started that yet. Because I want to do the sting like a bee next. Yes. So I've been working on it on, um, what fabric is this? I'm using Barb's Blend by r and I'm using a 36 count. Oh, okay. And so I am, oh, I got a hanging thread here. Um, I am using two strands because I wanted the colors to be really vibrant. On 36 count? Yeah. Oh, so. nice. Are you using called for? Uh, yes, I'm using the, I think it just calls for DMC. Um, They're pretty colors though. Yeah, oh, I love the colors. They're beautiful, very vibrant. Very pretty. Yeah. So that's where I'm at on that. And I'll probably turn it into a pillow and put mm -hmm. it in my dough bowl. I was, I have a lot of bee stuff downstairs on my decorations, but I think I want to add in like some butterflies yeah, and some birds. Yeah, yeah. Just some more yeah. nature. Yeah. Um, let me show this first. So I was putzing around here in my craft room and I was like, oh, I never stitch anything out of my um, punch oh. needle magazine. So this is actually, I want to say this is last year's, yeah, uh, 2022 summer issue. And I was like, I'm going to pick something out of one of my magazines. And so oh. I chose, oh. whoop, it's called Dreaming in the Seashore. It's by Barbara Anna. Because I don't have any nautical themed patterns or stitches and I just love the colors. I love Barbara Anna. And so I'm using That's all pretty. of the call for DMC for this one. And I'm stitching it on a scrap that I had of Forbidden Fiber Dovetail 36 count. Mm. And I'm using two, strand, two strands of floss. Oh, I like that fabric. Yeah, I like it too. So I don't have much going on there, but I That's think it's gonna pretty. be super cute. That's a cute pattern. Yeah, I like the modeling. I hope it's not too dark for this pattern, but. I don't think so, so far. The fa the fibers are pretty vibrant. Yeah, I was thinking that the fabric wouldn't contend. Can, can, can handle yeah. that. And of course, I have a nautical stitch, so I gotta have it in my nautical I bag. I know, that's such a cute bag. <laughs> and then, speaking of nautical bags, you haven't <gasps> seen this yet. Oh, I bought oh this. my gosh. This is from a new to me shop called the Pampered Needle. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh. Look at these guys. They have freckles. Look at them. Look at their little freckles. I don't know if you can see them. They're so cute. This guy's smoking his pipe. You have all the sea creatures, the octopus and the turtle and all the sea seahorses. That's really cute. I like the, the scales I love the up faces. here. I know. And then the back has the seahorses. So I couldn't, and it's very nicely made. It's very solid. Yeah, it looks like it, and it's, I like them when they're kind of stiff. This yeah. is nice. Yeah, I love it. That's nice. What is the name, did you say? The Pampered Needle. The Pampered Needle. Yes. I love finding new shops. She has, and she has some really cute um, stuff in her shop. I want to get her name right. I believe, yeah, her name is Jane. She ships things out pretty quick. Okay. I know she was having a 15% off sale. Oh. I don't know if she still is. I don't quote me on that, but she was. And um, she has a really cute little women bag oh, in her shop. Oh, I, oh. So cute. I love little women. And... So, oh, and you're back on this. I'm back to this. My Live on Little that I started last July. And I put it away because I was not liking it on the fabric I was stitching it on. Oh, really? And I restarted it. What did you... Um... Oh, poop. Why isn't it in here? Oh, it's right there. Is that oh. it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. It's been a long day. That's pretty fabric. Yes. So. Oh, that's very I pretty. started in the uh, top left corner, so I don't have much, but I, I like this so much better. This is a needle and flax. Oh, Lord, what color was it? Oh, uh, oh dirty no. teacup? No, it's not needle and flax. This is called... Um, Dirt Track. Oh. I believe it's by Fox and Rabbit. I believe oh, it's a new color. Is that, I was going to say, is that a new color? Yeah. So I've just worked on the border a little bit and that's where I'm at. But I think this color is going to look a lot nicer. Uh, the weave of the fabric is tighter. And, oh, and this is a 46 count, not a 40. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. I just, I was, so you're going to do this whole big thing on the 46 Yeah. Count. Well, I was stitching it on um, Cause this is 40 a, and I just didn't like the coverage. This is big. Yeah, it's huge. You know, yeah. I was just, I'm sorry about that. That is Mr. Snubblepants' 
shot and I've actually lost my, okay, here's my phone. I was gonna show something on my phone and I just realized I couldn't find it. Yeah, the stitch count is 307 by 207. Yeah. So it's, it's gonna be a it big is. one, but I just think it's so pretty. You know, when we were at StitchCon, there was a gal I met and her name is Martha. Hi, Martha. Hi, Martha. And she was stitching this and she was quite a ways Ooh. on it. Um, and it's really pretty. It's gorgeous. Very pretty. I love it. Very pretty. So those are my whips. Well, you got a lot of whips going on. Yeah, not, not too yeah. bad. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so you want to talk about haul? Let's do it. Okay. Um, we did have another question that kind of ties into haul. Um, sure. Because uh, Tracy had a lot of questions for us. She wants to know, do we have a monthly stipend that we pay, that we uh, set aside for our cross stitch? <laughs> You know, that's a very, very wise idea. Tracy, that would be a wise idea. My husband would like to set one for me. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't. Um, I don't. I've been doing a lot. Okay, I've been doing better. Sorry. I haven't bought any patterns. I haven't bought any floss. I haven't bought any fabric. Project bags are a different story. But that's good that you have, I do finally feel like, I ha I really do enjoy having some stash though. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I've been enjoying digging into mine and using it. Yes, I really have enjoyed that because then I have a choice. I don't just have two neutral fabrics. I right. have a choice. And so, and new patterns come out and I'm like, oh, I have that fabric if, if I want right. to use that fabric. So yeah, it is nice to have a stash. Yeah. I, I have, um, I do enjoy that, but that is a good idea. I'm in, I'm still in quite a few clubs and I just, because I didn't get around to it, I, there are some things that I want to cancel because I'm finding I'm not, you yeah. know, not using it as much. Right, and if you're not using it, it's just yeah, a waste. Yeah, yeah, and... Um, and sometimes those clubs, people are on a wait list, so if you... Right, if you're not really using it, it's... Right, it's nice to free up that spot for somebody else. So. Yeah, um, but that's that's a wise thing to do, Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea, Tracy. <laughs> yeah. We're trying. I'm, I'm doing better. So, do you want to show your haul? Yeah, you are, yeah. We ready to move on to the haul? Yeah, let's do it. Um, well, I'm going to do this first because okay, I found yeah. this picture. Um, so I went to Quilter Station maybe a month or so ago, and one of the presenters was La Di Da Lori, and she had these cute little um, their needle books. And you know, I'm sorry, I left the pattern at home. I did show it last week, and yeah. you can put a picture on there. Um, but they are, uh, they're, they're, they're not needle book. It's not a needle book pattern, but it's a pattern that fits nicely. Was so, it, was the pattern an exclusive for Quilter Station? No, it was not. Okay. It was not. Actually, um, it was nice. Most everything that she brought were her new releases. Okay. So recently so released So these are things. things people can get. Yeah, but I, I'm not sure if this was actually just recently released. Okay. Um, but so this this is what it looks like someone actually asked for a picture i i did show this pattern there was actually two patterns that i purchased so she bought this box oops well there's the other pattern <laughs> <laughs> um if you can see and i'm sorry i don't remember the name we can we can put that in there um but i just loved her ideas of finishing and she does really creative finishes but items that everybody can have access to that you don't have that to box just... came from Hobby Lobby right yeah I think so... you showed it last time but you can show it again I don't know if I sh did I, I show think you it? did show it okay sorry did I yeah show it again okay well shoot I don't think I did because you asked me for a picture of it no I asked you for a picture of the finished one. Oh well okay anyway it is a card box and um hers this goes this way so I'm not oh, sure okay. why it's different. I've looked at a couple Hobby Lobbies and it's the same box. It actually says card box. And then this, I don't know if I'd have to remove that to put you probably the piece would, yeah. on. Um, but um, someone was asking about it and I, I wanted to show it. So yeah. it's literally called a card box. If you go to Hobby Lobby, it's in their wood pile section. Well, it's nice that she uses easily accessible things right. so you can replicate that finish. Right. And she just stained it and added some 
I think she used like a, a not a felt, but like, you know, a felt like a like team kind of, yeah, in there. Um, okay, well, I'm sorry if I already showed it. Don't be sorry. I can't remember. You're allowed can't to show remember what I'm more doing. than once. Um, okay, so I will get into some haul. I have some project bags. Let's this see. is a project bag. Super cute, right? Some people might recognize that pattern. So this is what the bags at Keepsakes look like. They are these, and they're known for their bags. I was actually at a retreat in another state, and I saw this bag peeking out from a lady, and I said, oh, is that a Keepsakes bag? Uh, but Keepsakes uses these green and beige gingham bags mm -hmm. uh, for all of the things that you purchase there. And so, Not, not the fabric. They, I'm paper sorry. Paper bags. Paper yeah. bags. Don't right. get excited. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Not, not, not a cloth bag. They're not just giving those away, no. Um, so there, there are two gals that do a cross... A, floss tube which are called antique needle workers mm -hmm. and one of them is Shelly and Shelly actually made these bags and they're so exclusive cute. to keepsakes and she also has a little um notions bag that she made she has an Etsy shop and I'm so sorry I can't think of it I don't believe these are in the Etsy shop I put my name on a wait list at keepsakes to get them um and with StitchCon coming up I'm not sure what the status is but I just think it's really cute. I haven't decided what I'm putting in it yet, um, but I just, I like how it has this, yes. you know, kind of fold and then it just, it just snaps. So I don't know where she found the fabric, uh, but she's been making them. So I just thought that was really cute. Another one of my favorite bag makers is Barbie with Stitch Folk. Oh. Did I say that right? Yeah. Stitch Folk. Um, and she just, I like, I like the stuff that she does. Um, I haven't showed this yet. I, I will show it, but she, I recently bought two bags. She has been doing like kind of some theme bags. She did a bag for the Martha Evans, mm -hmm. uh, thing that came out, pattern that came out for Brenda. Mm -hmm. And I didn't get one of those. I kind of missed that whole boat, yeah. but Hands Across the Sea Hats did a red letterbox and this bag goes with it. So I was really lucky oh, to so get cute. one of the bags. And this is what's on the, like the card in the box. And um, I will show it, but I was super happy and I got this. That's cute. And it's just pretty. So I'm gonna put all those patterns in here. Yeah. I need to get, I'm gonna get, I think I'm gonna get the called for fabric. So I'm, I haven't started that yet. But another one that I got is, this is a pretty, famous bag she kind of brought this back but it's called the birthday girl she's grumpy and she's this grumpy girl <laughs> and um so i just i just That's have to cute. have this bag it's a cute bag sarah found this bag and of course i had to grab it because it's so darn cute but sarah i am forgetting who it's by wild berry stitching thank you yeah that was the one last week we were trying to figure yes, out who, yes who is what, but yeah, so she's, she's adorable. a new to me bag maker. This is my first bag of what? hers. And look at the bag. Is this the cutest thing ever? It is. And the inside has the little bees, the bee fabric. It's yes. just so fun. And a little bee charm. How stinking cute. Yeah. Um, her name is Jessie and she's wild berry stitching and she makes some really cute bags. You got to go she follow her. She does make her. cute bags. Well, show, you showed some last week. Yes. Yeah. And she... I think she has like a um a fruit salad one in the shop now. Oh, so cute, cute. Go check her out. Yeah. Um, and I have two more bags. Um, th these bags were uh, are from. Uh, well, one of them is actually a partnership with. Uh, Ocala. Oh um. It's, shoot, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. No, I know who you're saying. Yes. But... Sarah will remember it and Como Stitches. And so is it stitching in Ocala or she's got a floss tube. I'm she so does. Sorry. She does. I'm sorry. I I I just I'm filming this on my phone, so it I can't just, look it, up. it just yeah, it just escaped me. But these were there were ten available and it was on yeah, stitch girl stitching in Ocala or there we go. Thank you. Handmade with Love by Jody Smith at Simply Stitching Ocala. Okay. There we go. Sorry, Jody. I'm so sorry. Um, but these were, they. she had 10 and uh, Como Stitches had 10. And so I was lucky to get on and snag one. And it came, so 
Jody, um, Simply Stitching Ocala, she made this this piece, um, little Oort holder, and I'm not sure who made the thread bag. And then, so cute. We have the bag. So got the whole the whole set yeah. here. Yeah, and then also Como Stitches did uh, pre orders for this bag. And I am in love with Teresa Kogut's Bright Stars fabric. I, I just it's so love it. It's very classic. I know. Yeah. I just, I love it. I just think it's so cute. And so I was fortunate to get this and I just got it in the mail. Um, and then she has like a kind of a different. Um, oh, I like that. Yeah. So different it's style. down the middle. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So, um, so I got that. Nice. Okay, I gotta the see. Painted Leaf Co. is going to have some Teresa Kogut. I was going to say, is she? Yes. That's nice. It's coming. That's it's nice. It's coming. You can All right, I got to speed up. I don't, I'm like taking forever here. Okay, I'm going to show you just a couple more things. I did not have a chance to print out Teresa Kogut's Patreon for this month, but this is Liz Matthews. Again, oh, my gosh. I know. Look at the bees. Oh, is that cute? A buzz at midnight. It's 129 by 125. Really cute. I That's love the, the really colors. Really cute. I do too. Very cute. And um, I've been looking at this pattern for a while. Sylvie is the designer, and she is running with needles, scissors, and needles. Needles and scissors. Ne needles and scissors. I'm sorry. And um, I know a lot of a lot of people have showed this, but I just I finally broke down and bought it. Uh, so I'm excited to start this one. So the last thing I'm going to show is this is I am in Tiger Lily's Project Keeper Club. And she puts out four boxes a year. This is the second box that she put out. And so it comes with this cute tape. It's the Project Keeper Club. Keeper Club. Yeah. And so you open the box. I already opened the box. So... Spoiler what? alert. Spoiler alert is right. So she gives you... Oh, and if you if you haven't gotten your box oh, yet... Oh, yeah, don't... Close your eyes. Close don't your ears. Don't look at it. I think they've all shipped, yeah. I think. I'm not sure, but if you haven't gotten yeah, Just it, warning, sure. if you don't have yours yet, you might want Thank to fast you. forward. Um, so she gives you a little sheet, and she's all about using um, small, small companies. That's awesome. Small creators. And so you get a project keeper, and then you get some goodies. Awesome. And so when you open it, it's got this pretty, pretty pink tissue paper. And then there were just some really, sorry, Sarah, some fun <laughs> things in I'll there. I'll just get out of your way. Yeah. There were some chocolates with, like, blueberries and nuts, and I ate that. You so didn't even share. I, I didn't. It was delicious. So these are little buttons. Oh, those are cute. Aren't those cute? Tilda fabric. Yes, and then you got a cute needle minder, and I should be saying who these are all from, Sarah. Oh, I can do it. It's kind of like our Black yep, Needle kind Society. Of our, yeah, so here's a needle minder, and this is from... Oh, a Little Wren. Oh, Little Wren, and it's wooden. It's a nice needle minder. And again, these are all individual creators. A little, little thing of tea. And Oh, Little Wren is on Instagram. O-O-H, Little Wren. Okay, now look at this. Oh, my gosh. This was made for the project keeper. Look at how cute that is. Is that adorable? So it is a stitch rainbow pouch custom designed and exclusively created for the Tiger Lily Keeper Club by Properly Marked. That is so cute. It's a bag. Yeah, and they, they specialize in custom gift bags and you can you can find out more information on Instagram um, uh, under Properly Marked. So cute. Mm -hmm. Got a cute little sticker. Aww. And then here's the project keeper. Look at how beautiful that oh, is. Beautiful. Look at that fabric. Isn't oh my that gosh. so pretty? So that's it's Tilda Fabrics. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm in love with that. And on the back. And then, and I'm not sure if you get a choice in her club. I always get the two, like the pocket. Sorry, Sarah. You're fine. Um, but look at that fabric. That's gorgeous. So there's a pocket, a zipper pocket colors. here, pocket here, pocket here, another zipper. But I know, isn't that so pretty? I love the colors. I just, I love them. I do you love them? Really cute. I do love them. <laughs> it's beautiful. It is really. Okay, that's it. All righty then. You're okay. up. So oh no. I'm sorry. I have one more thing I have to show. I'm sorry I interrupted you. Guess what? what? I won. I won. I 
never win. She never wins anything. I never win. And we have a friend, Allison, and she wins all the time. Everywhere we go, she always wins. She wins online. She wins everywhere. And I won. And I won this from Liz Matthews. Hi, Liz. Her Patreon, she did a product review. And so she ordered four of these from Hobby House, one for herself and three to give away. And I won. And it is the Kohana Little Snips. Oh, nice. Yeah, that, that glare is bad. Ugh. I should take that out. Um, I actually have a pair of Kohana scissors, and I love them. And these are the little snips. I got navy. She had some other colors. So it has a little leather pouch. So I know. And these are That's the great for, like, taking on a plane. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't use this if I were, like, at home stitching but yeah, every on day. The go? But yeah, on the go. Is that adorable? That's very cute. And I won. I love the little leather pouch that it goes in. I know. In. It's it's soft. It's so very fancy. soft. It is. Yeah. Oh, that is soft. Yeah. And their scissors come with a, so a leather um, sheath or what do you call that for the scissors? Yeah. Um, so I'm sorry. I had to. I had to. I had to add that in. Yeah, okay. Now sure. I'm really done. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, I don't have a whole lot. I bought project bags. So I've got project bags to show, and that's it. So um, I already showed you my B1 that I got from Wildberry. I showed you my um, my uh, nautical one from the Pampered Needle. Mm -hmm. I have another one from the Pampered Needle. Oh, my gosh. Isn't this adorable? Oh, that's adorable. The Pampered Needle. So, And look at the bag. I, I love that ah. fabric. I love and on the inside, tomatoes. you got buttons. Oh, oh, that's really nice. And like I said before, this is just a really nice fit. Yeah, her bags are very nice. Yeah, very sturdy. Yes, they keep their form. Yeah, I was a little disappointed. This was not the the maker did not do this. The post office did. Oh. When I got my package, you could see it had been sliced open on the front. <gasps> Somebody got crazy with a box cutter or something at the oh, post it office. Did it rip? Did it? So I have. I don't even know if you can see. I have like little rips. Oh, are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding. It's right where that rip was in my package. Because at first I got it, I was like, surely the maker wouldn't have sent it this way. And I looked at my package. I was like, oh, no, of course she didn't. So shame on you, post office. Yeah, that's... But at least there's just tiny little better. rips. Honestly, you wouldn't even notice unless, unless I pointed I, them I out. I didn't notice unless you said something, but still. But I was sad because this is a beautiful bag. Yeah, it's so pretty. I just got to be careful so the rips don't get bigger. But this is adorable. You have to go check out the Pampered Needle. She's got some really cute bags. Alrighty. Um, oh, I'll leave that one first. Next, I oh have. Oh my gosh, look at all these cute bags. <sighs> Next, I have this from the Pepper Pot. I was Pepper just Pot Shop. Say. Not the Pepper Pot, it's Pepper Pot Shop. Here's her little logo. And Pepper Pot Shop is my sister, Megan. She is making um, vinyl front bags. And look at this one, raining cats and dogs. Look at the charm, it is a cat umbrella. That's cute. I mean, come on. And look how cute the inside fabric is and how it you know matches with the rainbows. It is, that's really a cute bag. So cute. She actually still has some of these in her oh. shop. You gotta go get them. She's got a really pretty, um, new one in the shop called um patchwork picnic which is really vibrant oh, nice. so go check out <clears throat> go check out pepper pot shop <laughs> on etsy this is so hilarious that she's gonna show this i didn't i had to copy this. off of you i, I know didn't i didn't tell you this. i had to copy off of you so i went and i got the lighter, the lighter color. blue one yeah <laughs> So these again are from Penny and Tunny. I after you showed yours on the last video, I was like, okay, I need one. So I like that color too. I know. I think it's so cute. It's the same design. Um, yeah. Just different. Just a lighter color. So I had to copy you. Yeah. Copycats. That's so funny. <laughs> uh, I got two more here. So this was from Como Stitches. That you is... didn't order this one. Maybe not. I yeah, I missed that one. Oh. That's really pretty. So this is um be grateful. It's got all the little bee skeps and the bees. That's really pretty. Super cute. She always has these like little tassels on here, the leather tassels yeah. that go with the bag. So that's a go check bag. out Jess Como Stitches. And this is I just got this yesterday from uh, Michelle Lee I was, Quilt. I was gonna say that looked like a Michelle Lee Quilt. Hand my, handmade by Michelle Lee Quilt. She's on Etsy and Instagram. 
And here's the bag. It's gorgeous. I love the colors. And there's something inside. Oh my. <gasps> hmm. So, Michelle Lee Quilts. Her name is Michelle Condon. Here's her info if you want to. I don't know if you can see that. I'll put her info in, in the description box. But Michelle Lee Quilts, she's actually local to us, so yeah. her bags come super fast. So she sent this beautiful little card with a nice little note, and she sent a gift for us. Oh, for us? For us. <gasps> so um, I won't read the whole card, um, but she says she makes these these for her quilty friends. Oh. And um, she thought that they, uh, that we might appreciate them. We could use them for our orts. Oh my gosh! Look how beautiful! Oh, those are so pretty. So, oh, because thanks, I'm Michelle. such a nice friend, you're gonna choose which one you want. Oh gosh! Uh, I know. I will take. You can't I go wrong. This one. So, oh my I gosh, left them in the package you. there, but it's like a little. It's a little like fabric. Bowl. Yeah. I'm gonna open mine so you can see it. Sorry. Close your ears. There's gonna be crinkling. That is so cute. So I didn't even open this yet because oh, because I wanted to show it. Oh. Look at that. It's like a little Oh, that's a nice size I know. too. Oh, that's so cute. Look at the inside. I know. So Michelle, thank you so oh, much. Thank I wanted you. to surprise Jen. She didn't know. I I didn't. And this is a lovely surprise. Thank, thank you. you so much. Yes. We appreciate her. Thank we you. We appreciate all of our bag makers who keep us keep us happy with all their beautiful bags and we appreciate them we appreciate i just all like of, all the fun accessories and right? i like the eye candy i like it is eye candy at, right it, yeah yeah so thank you thank that's you, thank so you. nice thank you michelle thank yes. you thank you so um before we yeah. get off of here I see that you had made a note about mania are you doing any mania plans? you know no I'm not, and I, I don't. I I know people are doing it, yeah. um, and I don't really know a lot of what people are doing. I don't know if it. I think it's kind of whatever you think, uh, yeah, right? Right. So you could do new starts. You could do whips. You could do, and a whole bunch of them. Yeah. I think the idea kind of started with like you start. You have as many new starts as the number of the year. So like this is 2023. Oh my. So you would start 23, not not 2023. <laughs> but yeah, you would but start 23 new whips. I think that's kind of how it You know what? Started. I think you're right. That's that's a lot of whips. That is a lot of whips. So I think it, I think it's evolved to kind of like, you know, you kind of set your own challenge. Mm -hmm. Um and so yeah, so you don't you didn't do anything? Um not officially, but I didn't either. I'm doing pretty good on starts. I I know myself. I know that the minute I start making plans, they're done. Yeah. So, you yeah. know, I started some planning at the beginning of the year, and I was like, I'm not going to hold myself to this. And and just even that little, like, loose, those that loose planning, I... Yeah. I don't like to be bossed around, even by myself. So. No, I do like just having saying oh I'm gonna start this or yeah I like I'm a mood stitcher if I'm yeah in I am to too. stitch something I just want to pick it up and go not I don't want to feel like oh I gotta stitch this because I told because I said yeah. I would I never like to have a deadline where I have to finish something a certain time because then I won't you know somebody made a comment um and I'm trying to think what the comment was oh it was Missy with um Two needles pulling thread. Oh yeah, not Missy. I'm sorry. It was Kathy. Hi, Missy. Um, it was Kathy, and she said she is a um, a stitch along starter, but not a can't remember what the word was. But basically, she likes to start stitch alongs. Sure. But she doesn't want to be held to, you know, when I get it done, I get it done. Yeah. And um, and I think I'm kind of that way as well. Sometimes that oh, the new pattern's coming out, and oh, I'm yeah, um, you yeah. Because when just, I first started doing stitch alongs, I'm like, oh, I have to stay on top of this. And you always and, did, but it was stressful. Yeah. And I felt like it was a job. Like, oh, I have to do this. Yeah. And I don't want to feel like that. I want my stitching to be fun. Mm -hmm. I want it to just make me happy. So. Yeah. I have noticed people that are mentioning they're doing it. There's a lot of people doing like a patriot, a lot of patriotic. I have starts. noticed that, like Chantel's 141 and and Jessica Sweetwater mm -hmm. Stitcher. 
um, a lot of patriotic things going on which is nice there's been a lot of cute uh new patterns and lots of little smalls and mm -hmm. pillows and mm -hmm. Teresa Coquit has a patriot or a patriotic book I actually started one of her projects last year and I spent a day ripping it out I actually ripped out three three patterns that I had started didn't like the the you colors, like the colors I, yeah. you, right and and they're just sitting there and I don't want to waste the fiber right and um, so I actually frogged uh, three patterns are you going to so hold on, you you frogged three different patterns from that book, or the same pattern three times? No, I frogged I frogged one pattern from that book. Um, I frogged Eliza's birds, uh -huh. Eliza's French birds, and then I frogged um, I frogged another pattern that the Teresa Kogut pattern I started. A way we ride, I think, is the one I did. It's in she has a book. A way we ride is a Halloween one by Blackbird Designs. Okay, well it's not that one. <laughs> She has, Teresa Coca has that patriotic yeah. book. Um, and I, it's like a man and a woman and they're waving. Um, but I didn't, I didn't have the, what was the color? I didn't have a certain thread color. And when I looked it up online for a conversion for DMC, it said black. And you didn't like that? And it was, no, it was not, it's not black at all. Are you going to restart it? And I am, although I'm thinking of possibly doing a different pattern, which is almost the same size, but just a wee bit bigger. So I need to remeasure my fabric and see if that will fit on it. It's yeah. a, it's salt bush, the fabric. Um, I love that fabric. It is pretty. Fox and rabbit. Yeah. 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 So. So yeah. Well, if you guys are doing anything for mania, we'd love to hear yeah, about it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just not good with that kind of stuff. I feel like I'm always having a cross stitch mania, just like, <laughs> all the things you are but you do a lot of things every month you you are definitely not a monogamous stitcher I mean, no you like I'm not. to have there are some times where I'm like really into a project and mm -hmm. I'll stick with it for a little while but the minute I say okay I'm gonna focus on this yeah it doesn't become fun no it feels like a job yeah it's not a job cross stitching is fun so right. that's why I have 80 something whips that's crazy oh, sorry Daisy oh <laughs> <laughs> I moved her bed over here so I could see her. All right, are we done? I think so. I don't think I have anything else. I was writing some notes down. Um, okay. You know what I do need to do? Uh oh. Bluebirds of Happiness. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I went to pull that out and then I just stuff happened and I didn't get to stitching it. But it is a beautiful pattern oh and gosh. I really want to get back to it. It's by Judy Whitman, mm -hmm. JBW Designs, and um, it's a very pretty pattern. Keepsakes has uh, exclusivity with that pattern. Mm -hmm. If you And we gave three away for our um, we did. 5K giveaway. We did. Yeah. So that was super fun. Yes. Um, so I want to get back to that. I have some other mm -hmm. things I want to get back to, but mm -hmm. I'm having fun starting new things. Yeah. It's fun. It's an adventure. Yeah. All right. We will say goodbye now yes. and let you guys get back to your day and whatever you're doing. Hopefully you enjoyed watching. If you did, please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and leave us a comment. Say hello. We'd love to hear from you. And um, I'm going to be updating our Instagram because I've been yeah, we not so good of, about that. Yeah. So I'll do that. All right. Bye. Bye guys. You got oh. it. Oh, sorry. <laughs>